hello there and welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while but life happens it is what it is so we're just going to go ahead and move into what the video is going to be about for today so today i decided that i'm going to go ahead and set up my new planner as you can see it is a different size that is a b6 planner from one of my good 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 favorite companies which is avalon and nice I'll uh, try to leave some of their information down below. These tweezers are from Perfect Prints Co. And I have lots and lots and lots and lots of washi that can go along with it. So my plan for today is how can I set up a new planner, new size to me, new for the new year, for the 22, with supplies I already have. I'm all about using my stash i tell all of my planner friends and others use what you already have in your house so that's my plan that's my goal is to use what i already have in my house and i have a lot in my house so i went searching and i said okay well what can i do what kind of color scheme can i have for january well technically january is winter fake winter even though we're in florida still winter but we can't do what we can't do. Blue is my favorite color. So I said, okay, well, let me do some blue. So first of all, I did is I went and found me a lot of washi. Any type of washi that I could find that kind of had blue and silver in it. That's the first thing I did. <clears throat> because B6 is a lot smaller. The, um, the dimensions for all the pieces inside the planner are not as big as a standard vertical planner which i do have as well but i want to go ahead and set up this one so washi is very key for me <clears throat> having stickers that are more versatile to fit other size planners is very key for me and i know i have lots and lots and lots of stickers so i said well let me see what i can use already in my house so my color scheme is blue silver i thought about doing blue and gold but i said mm, nope never mind so i have simply gilded I have um, So Cute Planner. I have, of course, um, our girl uh, Cookie Sticker Co. So I have a variety of washi that I'm going to be utilizing for my B6 monthly setup. And that's what we're going to be doing today. So let me move the washi out the way. Hey, and my backdrop. <laughs> Compliments of Shameless Sticker. Yes, thanks, Chaz and family. Uh, but anyway, so. And I told you where this came from, Perfect Prince Co. This is a B6 size planner. This is a half a year planner. So I have six months in this, and I have another six months in another one. It looks exactly like this one. I haven't done anything much in here. There's my beginner page, and I told you this planner is from Avalon and Nice. I haven't even put my name in it. But what I did go ahead and start to do is make sure that one, my washi setup that I want to do is going to work for me. So I had to think about what washes I want to use. I don't really have the larger washi that can fit the width that was one. So, you know, we're going to make it happen. Just use more than one. So this bottom washi is Simply Gilded. This top washi is Cookie Sticker Co. These other stickers I got came from a variety of books that I already have in my house. Here's one of the books that I'm going to be using which is a Chrissy Ann sticker book that I got from Michaels a while ago. I'm not even sure if this sticker book is still available, but this is where I got some of my stickers from. Also, this one. Now, this is the main one that I was looking for because I remember getting a couple of these. This is the Chrissy Ann Designs sticker book. Once again, it came from Michaels. This particular one has 870 pieces, and each page in here is one page per month. So this whole monthly setup right here is going to be designed around this page. So I already put in um, number one. So each page looks like this. It's designed for the month. That's why my color scheme is blue and silver because it goes good with these colors. So each one of these pages in this particular sticker book is a great setup for your monthly style because it has small pieces that you can add to the month and it also has the dates at the bottom as well. So every single page, like I said, is 
one particular month. So this is a great monthly setup. Even if you don't have a B6 plan, maybe you're using a PP Weeks, or maybe you're using some other one that's similar to a smaller than standard size, I think this would be a great fit for other planners as far as setting up for your monthly setup. In addition, I also have this one. This is an oldie goldie. This is an alphabet um, sticker book from Happy Planner. This one has uh, 4,180 um, pieces in here. This one is really, really old. I didn't get this particular book from Happy Planner, but it is an old one. You might be able to find this on somebody's website who still have it. Maybe you have a an older sticker shop that may still carry this but I'm also using this so in this particular book it has numbers and letters since I don't have the um, days of the week small enough I'm going to use these stickers this particular color which is a lighter shade of blue and that's what you see on the top here for each of my days out of the week so that's Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then, like I said, there's my number one right there. So my plan is to go ahead and finish up the rest of the month, put all the dates in. <clears throat> now, this particular album has five weeks, but because of the way January is set up and the first is the only day on this week, when I get down to the end, uh, these last two days here is going to be a double. So it's going to be... 30 and 31 plus the other two days is going to be on top. So these two days are going to get split in half. So I just wanted to give everybody an idea of what you could use if you do not have all of the newest, greatest things. Use your stash. Use what you have. This is, like I said, this is a st sticker book that I got from Michael's uh, Chrissy Ann Design. This is another one for Chrissy Ann Design. This is another um, Happy Planner sticker book. The only thing that's brand new is the actual B6 size planner, but the items that I'm going to be putting on here is things that I came from my house. So I'm shopping my stash. Yes, I have a lot of washi, but that's the beauty of having a variety of washi. You can use whatever you have available. And if you don't have a particular color, make it work what you got. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. When I come back, I will show you guys the end result. All right, so I am back. I have done a basic setup for my B6 monthly for the month of January. So here is a quick view of what I have done here. So as I stated, um, I pulled washi from two companies that I like uh, quite often. This came from a, a Christiane Design sticker book. Uh, all these other stickers did as well. That washi is Cookie Sticker Co. All of these monthly dates came from the Christian Design. Here is the other side. Uh, I pulled a few stickers there. At the bottom, I told you I would have to double up on the 30 and the 31 because January is a little bit longer month. And that's basically what we have set up for the um, before the pin uh, for the month of January. So um, please let me know. If you are doing something new for the 22, please remember to uh, give me a thumbs up um, at the end of the video. Thank you. Bye.